So good day viewers. Welcome back to Knowles Garden Tractors and Firewood. So I'm sitting by my fire and I've got my kerosene lantern on. And it's that time of year again to that Remembrance Day is coming upon us. So I always get my poppy on. And you can see by the start of the video there that uh, my father on the right of the picture and my grandfather on the left of the picture. My father was in World War II and grandfather on my mother's side was in World War I. Dad drove a tank, Sherman tank, in the war. And I believe my grandfather, he ended up being a corporal. And I believe he was involved in tanks also. But uh, I have no real record of that, for sure. But, uh, but I believe that's what I know. Anyway, Dad drove a Sherman tank, and from what I can read and see in videos and things like that, it's kind of amazing that he made it back. They weren't the, the safest tank, I guess, in the world. I guess none of them were, but I remember seeing one video on them where it took five, five Sherman tanks would be after a, one German tank. And four Shermans would be destroyed, and the one Sherman would eventually destroy the German tank. So that's not very good odds, I guess. And I'm pretty sure the Sherman tanks were powered by gasoline engines, so if they could hit in the wrong place, why she was kaboom. And the, the driver's seat or, or anywhere in one of those Sherman tanks. It's tight, tight quarter from what I can tell in pictures and videos and things like that. So where Dad was sitting driving the, the tank wouldn't be, surely wouldn't be very nice, let alone being in the war too. Imagine what them people seen in the war. But anyway, driving one of them tanks certainly wouldn't be like driving the uh, Buick Park Avenue down the highway. <laughs> oh dear anyway so I got my poppy on I'll wear it for 11 days and if I lose it I'll get another one and pay for it and the paying helps the people that sell the poppies and make them and that's just what I do so so we need to remember the people that were in wars and died in wars and got hurt in wars and past and present wars. And of course we need to, to say thanks to the people that are in the armies and in the air forces and in the sea, in the past and the present. That are in or may have been in. I uh, just want to say thanks to all you people too for your service. It's greatly appreciated. So that's just my poppy and Remembrance Day sort of ramble, I guess. Because I do a lot of rambling. <laughs> and I just completed my winter hibernation courses, so I'll be able to get into hibernation mode, and uh, I passed all the courses with flying color colors, of course, so winter hibernation is going to happen, so that's the way that is. All right. Thanks for watching. And a few more new subscribers. And thank you very much.
Got like that. And we'll see you on the next video, which could be any time. <laughs> All right, that's enough for now. Have a good day.